Imagine you are the owner of an electric car company and you want to make your EVs more attractive to customers. What would you do? That is the situation Elon Musk faces, and one of his strategies is to improve the driving range of Tesla cars. He has found a new material that can make his EV batteries much better. What is this amazing material, and what makes it so special? Let's take a look at the new Borophene battery that Elon Musk just unveiled. Batteries are essential for modern tech. They may seem simple, but they power many of the devices around you and allow you to use them without always being plugged into an electric source. Graphene is a remarkable material with unique properties. For example, it is harder than diamond, more elastic than rubber, stronger than steel, and lighter than aluminum. But what if there is a material that can surpass graphene in strength and flexibility? This material is borophene, and in this video we will explore this topic and learn why borophene is the new wonder material. 2D structures are very appealing in material science because of their many potential applications. One of them is graphene, a one-atom thick 2D form of carbon that has a hexagonal honeycomb shape and semi-metallic properties. It was discovered in 2004 by Andrew Game and Kostya Novoselov, who won the 2010 Nobel Prize in Physics for their work. But there is a new amazing material that is also one atom thick and made of boron instead of carbon. This material is borophene, and it was first synthesized in 2015. Since then, scientists have found out that it is stronger and more flexible than graphene. A study on the use of the material published on the digital academic platform Arxiv in March 2019 listed its possible applications, such as storing hydrogen and improving lithium-ion batteries. These applications could be very important for a future with more electric vehicles. Because borophene is more flexible than graphene, it can also be used in flexible electronics. The more people will switch to EVs, the better their batteries need to be. Musk also wants to create an electric plane, which he would use instead of his current private jet. But he needs a battery that is light and has high energy density. This would make the plane as light as possible and have a long flying range. The current batteries are not suitable for aircraft because of their limitations. Tesla is a leader in the battery industry because it makes its own batteries and sometimes collaborates with other companies. But it is always looking for the best battery materials. Most modern electric cars use the lithium-ion battery, which Tesla popularized with its first EV, the Roadster. The battery has many benefits over the lead acid, which was the preferred choice for many years. It is lighter, has higher energy density, needs less maintenance, charges faster, lasts longer, etc. But the lithium-ion battery still has some drawbacks when used in an electric car. It is still very heavy, making EVs weigh much more than their ICE car counterparts. The battery also doesn't charge fast enough, or as easily as ICs can refuel with gas. Also, they are very costly to make and to dispose of safely. The researchers also think that the borophene's superconducting abilities could make it useful for making new kinds of wearables, biomolecular sensors, and even quantum computers. We will see some of these applications later in this video. Borophene is one of the latest developments. Borophene is made of boron, just like graphene is made of carbon. This is important because at the nanoscale, the small atomic groups of carbon and boron are very similar, even though at the macroscopic level, the allotropes are very different. Therefore, 2D boron is graphene was predicted by theory before it was found. The substance is actually made by molecular beam epitaxy growth. That is, elemental boron is put on a silver surface under a very high vacuum. The first 2D sheets that were reported to be made are metallic and weakly attached to a silver substrate with a buckled or wrinkled surface. Since then, three different kinds of 2D boron films have been made using boron atoms on silver substrates, as predicted by theory. This is even a nanosheet, even though its main atom, boron, is a non-metallic semiconductor. Also, the new sheet is strong and flexible and has a high electronic conductivity like graphene, but it is much stronger and lighter because of its low mass density. 
This makes it very valuable. Its flexibility is much higher than graphene's and is said to be at a record high level. Its strength ideally surpasses that of the best known polymeric materials. Also, it has a higher hardness to weight ratio. In fact, borophene doesn't break under stress. It undergoes a special phase transition of deformation in its structure that makes it even stronger. The wavy surface that is seen under a scanning microscope when it is grown on a silver substrate is unique and has drawn the interest of researchers in flexible electronics, such as flexible electrodes and nanoelectronic contacts. Its strength and lightweight make it useful as a possible reinforcing component in composite construction. This makes it the only one of its kind in the 2D nanoelectronic materials category. Mechanical properties have been studied separately in China and the US. It has two unique features that might explain its new properties. One of these is the boron atomic network, which has many variable hollow hexagons, HHs, that form a triangular reference lattice. By changing the HH content individually, this lattice can be adjusted to the desired mechanical properties. In other words, the more HHs are added, the stronger the lattice becomes. Another feature is the delocalized multi-center bond, which makes it very metallic. A development that has not been fully explored yet, its superconductivity is also important. Some studies show a higher electron density than graphene, which may mean that when it is cooled, it can carry electricity without loss. Amazing, right? It is known that both flat and striped sheets of borophene have been made, as seen under a scanning tunneling microscope. This depends on their formation temperature and how the boron atoms touch the silver surface below. The striped type has excellent conductivity for electrons in the stripes, and the hardness may be higher than graphene itself. These directional components could make borophene the first choice in experimental filtering of polarized light, for example. Boron is very reactive, and so borophene sheets that are not attached to anything have not been made yet. This would be needed to measure its conductivity more accurately, which was not possible until now. But this reactivity is not a bad thing, as it lets borophene be easily changed by using other chemical groups or by squeezing it between layers of other materials to adjust its properties as needed. Boron's hardness may also mean that borophene could be a stronger material for many applications than silicon and germanium. The borophene lattice also has a thermal conductivity that first increases with increasing temperature, but then starts to decrease from 150 K, like other crystalline materials. So the thermal conductivity of the lattice at room temperature is about 14.34 Watt per meter, which is much lower than that of graphene and suspension about 3,500 watts per meter. 